Hello, Arch, are you there? Yes, mate, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry, sorry about that. I've, <laughs> my child, uh, yeah, comments comments off. Can, can mods turn comments off or have I got to do it? I don't know if I can, I think I can, I think I've got to do it or not. Uh, why won't it work? Hang on a sec, guys. Settings. Comment settings. That's it. They're, they're off. Sorry, I'm, I'm probably doing it. I mean, mods are probably doing it. Big up, Archie. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, that's no problem, mate. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind sort of like people commenting anyway because everyone's got an opinion on this. Yeah, I, I think it's just a bit. It, from last time, it's a bit of dis, distraction. So I'll, I'll leave them off for now. I will turn them on, guys. I will turn the comments back on in a little while. But you know, it's just nice to because like like earlier, Archie, it was nice on the phone. We was just we was just having a normal chit chat, wasn't we? You know, it was just just a free flowing conversation, just chatting. Um, so yeah, it was nice. It was nice to yeah. talk to. Her. Yeah, I, I really, I really enjoyed it. Like, the only sort of like sense and sensibility that I actually get from this uh, situation, Rem and Curtis and this uh, uh, Diadro, what they call him, like you know, is uh, the sanctuary from your site, really, sort of like trying to bring some sort of like justice and sort of like I don't know, yeah, a bit, a bit of positive. When I when I saw her the other day when she was on there with that. Uh, Brett is it the little boy that says, "Oh my God!" all the time. The little boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then that, that other young lady, Sophie Rose, like who's had a child with this uh, Diadro. Yeah. And, the, and Remy was saying that sort of like you know all these things, what he'd done to her, and how she hated him, and what you know he was sort of scum and all that sort of stuff. Completely describing what I've said to her for, for so many months now, like you know. Yeah. yeah. And then sort of like forty-eight hours, she. Uh, she's back on there with a bunch of flowers and from D that he's and apparently he's flown down from Scotland to be with her or to show her and to talk to her. Yeah. But he shouldn't he shouldn't actually be in England at all, should he? With little Ted's around, like, you know, it's part and parcel of their this court case with uh, Remy and Ricky, her partner. Yeah. He hasn't he hasn't he's not in his presence at all, like, you know. Yeah, that that's what I that's from what I gathered that he shouldn't be anywhere near. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and that's that's one reason I can't understand if if you know if if if, it, if the impossible happens and they do actually love each other and have a relationship, where the bloody hell do they live? <laughs> We've all asked that question, Archie. We've all Christ. asked the same question. Um, based on a lot of people want to probably a lot of people on here want to know your thoughts and 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 what from what you know, you know, a lot of people are saying was she actually pregnant? Has she had a miscarriage? Has she aborted the child? But, you know, you probably don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's, that's, a, that's the only true thing about, about this uh, conversation, Ross, is I, I don't actually know, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, just sort of like reading sort of Remy Curtis, and I know sort of like when she was pregnant with, uh, I don't know, I can't say his name anyway, but, you know, the little, her little and like, you know. Yeah. She, couldn't, she couldn't wait to tell the world, like, you know. Yeah. And the family and everybody and was all updated, like, you know, sort of like your scans and sort of like, you know, due dates and baby yeah. showers and all that. What you're saying is, actually, when she was pregnant the last time, you was one of the first people she couldn't wait to get on the phone to and, and tell you about it. Yeah, most certainly. And, I'm, and and even though sort of like, you know, I've, I've got an opinion of this guy and she sort of like outed me because of it, like, I think, I think I still deserve the right to be told if, you know, if I'm going to be a grandfather once again. Exactly. But, had, but it, the phone call never came. Yeah, yeah. It never came at all. That's the thing I find quite disgusting in a way is the fact that, you know, you're her father and TikTok's finding out information and finding out stuff about her personal life before you. And they always go on about, you know, they don't want people to talk about their personal lives, but they're bringing it all onto this app before they even tell their actual family. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you're, you're exactly right. You know, I think it's a, it's a new sort of like way what he thought, I suppose, that it was sort of like social media that people sort of like, you know, live their life around TikTok or YouTube or whatever, like, you know. Mm. But, you know, sometimes you have to drop back to reality. She's with, she's with a guy that trick, mistreats her. I mean, I had a phone call some time ago from a Scottish guy saying that he'd actually hit her and perforate her eardrum, blacked her eye. I mean, 
this this guy again called me this week and had the same conversation with me. I don't know who he is or what he is like, you know. So is it someone trying to pretend or impersonate as if they are uh, Di- Diadro? No, not 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 him. Just someone saying that he knows him and he knows that he's right. whack. That he knows that he's whacked her, like you know. Right. Okay. Got you. But but I don't I don't know that's fact, you know. So your thoughts personally, per- you you know your daughter probably. Well, you know your daughter better than anyone on TikTok because at the end of the day, we we only we can only base everything on what we see and what we hear. So we have to make our own judgment. But you know, you know your daughter better than anyone else. Would would you say that this is something she she she's she's likely to make up? She she does fantasize things. Uh, Ross, I'll, I'll just just drop it back from that question, like you know. Yeah. Uh, I want to go back to when she first went on the TikTok. No. Yeah. Uh, so she goes on the TikTok, we and, me and her are talking like, you know, we're sort of having a nice father-daughter relationship that we used to, you know, used to love and enjoy. Yeah. And then I said, oh, uh, so, you know, what's happening on this TikTok thing? She said, oh, I'm flying up to Edinburgh, Dad, to meet with TikTok, one of their executives, like, you know. But what she's doing is, is flying up to see this, you know, the Adro fella, like, you know. So she was making out she was seeing some sort of, like, yeah, head some- on TikTok. Yeah, some sort of like, you know, going in there into the HR and all that sort of stuff, drawing up a contract and get sort of like work and become rich and famous like people want to do on this app. Yeah. But she wasn't at all. She was flying out to see him. I mean, why couldn't she just be truthful to you about that? I mean, or, or truthful. So, so obviously she was either ashamed or she was trying to hide something if she's making up a lie like that. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think sort of ashamed or embarrassed, you know what I mean, to sort of like conceal the situation, sort of like, that. oh, Dad, I'm, I've, I've met somebody else. He's just like, you know, actually he's worse than everybody else I've met put all together, like, you know. He's, yeah. by, he's by far the worst person he's ever been with, like, you know. And to, 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 to the thought of those two having a child together, like, you know, God, it's mighty. <laughs> yeah. So based on my question earlier, you know, she she fantasizes about things in the past. Is that what you're saying? And, and yeah, Ross, exactly that, mate. Yeah. So she told me she's going to meet sort of like the executive. She's not like you know. She told the world of TikTok, you know, she's fallen in love with him. They're trying for a baby. She pops a little scan up with a baby and all that sort of stuff. And everyone's oh, Remy's pregnant. Oh, the Addo's lovely and all that. What a load of crap that is. You, yeah. She could get a scan from anywhere or a picture from anywhere and put it up like you know. My true thoughts on the matter is that she was never pregnant. It was instigated by him and her, and maybe even sort of the Bermuda Triangle, that Sophie Rose as well, to generate more interest into their sort of like their views or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah, purely exactly fabricated that. story. So that that's what you think, yeah. And and has she has she has she done anything on this scale in the past? Like, you know, we're not saying we can't say one hundred percent she is lying. But this is based on what you think, um, and as she fantasised and made things up in the past, that's that's. Yeah, she has. Uh, I think it's Remy Curtis sort of like fluctuates between sort of like fact and fantasy, like, and sometimes get caught in middle ground and doesn't know what either is, yeah. whether it's fact or fantasy. But yeah, I've had several cases in the past where she's fantasised about that. She's always sort of yearned for sort of like some form of sort of like, I don't know, stage or highlight or sort of like stardom, whatever, like, you know. Yeah, and that, but, that probably... And, and, and fantasise about that, you know, she sort of like started out doing pop videos with groups and all that sort of stuff to try and get into it like that, and then she ended up on Babe Station. Yeah. How, how, yes. why, did her, why did her career on Babe Station sort of like end or stop? Oh, well, her, her career on Babe Station, I mean... I mean uh, I, I didn't actually know she was on this babe station thing until one of my friends contacted me and said, oh, your daughter's on babe station. I said, I said no, she's told me she's working for Sky. <laughs> Sky. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Archie. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, sorry, sorry. And it, anyway, so, so uh, you know, that was that. Yeah. And so... Anyway, so she joins Babe Station, she sort of earns loads of money, she says loads of gifters and all that sort of stuff, and they send their clothes, shoes or whatever, and thousands of pounds in gifts. And there's one old boy that popped his clogs, and her, their family sort of like contacted Remy because he put her in the will. Bloody hell. 
Yeah, how's that? So anyway, she ends up sort of like dating her line manager at the babe station. She said to me, oh, Dad, I'm excited seeing this bloke, you know, from the babe station, my manager. I said, you should never mix work with pleasure because it, it, it ends in sort of like disaster. Yeah. Well, it, it ended in disaster. Absolutely ends in disaster. This guy falls in love with her. She falls in love with him. They're going to get married and get a big house in Surrey somewhere like, you know. But down at the local pub, the local drug dealer is also in, in love with Remy Curtis. So Remy Curtis and her line manager from Babe Station go off and they start using the pub and the, the, the little three of them sit around the table. Then all of a sudden, the drug dealer takes Remy away from her boyfriend. There's a great big fight. Bloody hell. Yeah, blood and guts like a proper old cowboy fight. Her boyfriend gets knocked, sparked out. Somebody else knocks the other fella out. Anyway, uh, Remy Curtis is taken away from there to a to one of her friend's houses about 20 miles away. Uh, so she didn't stay at that house. She gets a cab back to the pub and spends the night with a drug dealer. <laughs> her boyfriend's been sparked out. So if that ain't, you know, this is a bit of, that's a bit of fact. Her uh, pregnancy is a bit of fantasy. Bloody hell. You, you, honestly, Archie, I'm, I'm sorry. I, you know, I might laugh at times, but it's, it's the fact that you can't. You honestly can't make this shit up. Sometimes you just cannot make this shit up. That the things that have been going on on this app and people just don't. People generally don't know what's fact or fiction on here anymore in terms of her relationship or the way she's acting. You know, it, it, between the three of them, and I'm going to say it: Sophie Rose, Remy, and Diadro. I, I don't believe anything. I can't. I cannot believe anything anymore because it's just. It's too much gone on. It's too. Too much has happened, and it almost seems like it's scripted. But you just can't tell. Well, Rossi, I'll tell you what uh, Sophie Rose and Remy Curtis have got in common is they, they use the same thing behind their ears to attract men. Yeah. Their ankles. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's sort of like, you know, they both sort of like went up because they fell in love with this fella from only fame and fortune. Both ended up, well, she's ended up with her tires pumped up, old Sophie Rose, and Remy's got this fancy pregnancy that's never happened in her life. I'm sure if it did, she would have, even though she's not talking to me, she'd have let me know one way or another. Yeah, and also, has she, from what you know, has she ever had a miscarriage in the past? Uh, I don't think so. Ross. No. And, and, because... and to be honest, to be honest, I think if I if I'd have known, I don't think it'd be right for me to say yes. Or no, I, I understand like, that. Know. It's just it's just because we've heard this before, and now we're hearing it again. Uh, but we obviously, like like I said. And like I said, everyone, we, we just don't know what's fact and what's fiction anymore. It's just, yeah. And this this is, Archie's coming in and this is just his perception and what he believes. I mean, it's his daughter. He, he knows what she's sort of like. But would you say then that she's always attracted to sort of fame and fortune? I mean, it probably doesn't matter what the people look like, but is she sort of like attracted to that side of things with in terms of relationships? Well, let's, let's I'll tell you what, Rossi, let's put it this way. She's had a few boys and has fell out of the ugly tree and hit a few branches on the way down. <laughs> yeah, so what, she, she brought a fella around our house for Sunday dinner that played rugby for the Wasps, and uh, I think he just cleared the house out. <laughs> so, it's, you know, she, another, another boyfriend played for, for uh, Wimbledon Football Club. She wanted a bit of fame and fortune from him, like, you know, being a professional footballer in the yeah. lower division, all that sort of stuff. Well, he's, he spent so much time on the bench, he got splinters. <laughs> yeah, so she's had, she's had several several boyfriends that have taken her for money and conda and all that sort of stuff. I've always been there for her. She she put the barrier up as soon as she goes with them. Once, the sort, once they're gone, it's, it's all falling apart, and he's resurrected again. They'll shoot back onto her dad. Yeah. Well, bloody hell, Archie. It's just, yeah, like you say... I've I've got my opinion, and, and I was I was keeping my mouth shut for a, for a long while because sometimes you think, you know, you say what you generally feel, and you you just get hated on. But you know what I mean. People, a lot of the time, I come in here and I say what a lot of people are thinking because a lot of people just won't say it. But I generally believe there's something's not quite right. Someone's not telling the full truth. I believe she's not telling the full truth. I think a lot of it's a game. A lot of it's um, you know made up fantasy. 
But oh, you know. oh with that, uh, Ross, honestly, without a doubt. I mean, I was like, the only reason I ever came on TikTok was to get some sort of connection with Remy Curtis, like you know, just yeah. so I could see her. But uh, <clears throat> Christ and my, you get these people on there like that, you know, that Brett, oh my God, and and that Jim Z, you know, that goes from you know from being sort of like you know sat on a bench to sat by a bleeding polar bear. She's off her head. <laughs> You know what I mean? And that other one that says, oh, darling, all the time, is always eating food but on a diet. Yeah. You've got these people, put these people on the running machines all the time. You get these people run uh, with the tarot cards all the time, right? You've got these people that putting up sachets for people to put line their stomach to lose weight. And you've got the other ones that are injecting it. Well, I saw a TikTok post the other day with somebody on a running machine telling the tarot cards, waving the sachet about while injecting themselves. <laughs> You said 10 million views. No, I know. It's, and, and, and a lot of this on here, you, you will get the views with drama. And I, I, I personally think uh, Diadro, that's what he's done. Um, he's seen that. He's, he's falling off the app. And, and, and to, together, all of them are making up so many stories and they get themselves deep into it. And the, fan, the thing I found, I found a bit strange, Archie, is the other day people were going into Remy's live and generally opening up to her because they've obviously experienced obviously infant loss or child loss themselves at some point in their lives. So they was generally commenting in her live, opening up to her, and, and she was blocking them. She was telling them she don't want to talk about it. Well, you know, she's shutting people down that generally want to open up to someone that's potentially gone through that themselves. So I found that a little strange. Yeah, I found it's very sort of like, I don't know, not, not, not normal, like, you know. I mean, I'm... Yeah. So, you think sort of like if someone's going to contact her like you know, via sort of like voice or text or whatever they do on here, you know, and say like I've been in the same sort of situation, I feel for you and that sort of stuff. How can you how can you sort of live with yourself listening to that woman's plea? I mean, I've had several messages from people since Remy's been with this guy saying I'm going, I've got an abusive relationship and that sort of stuff and telling me what's going on in their lives. And I respond to these people like you know because I yeah. feel for them like. But I think what a desperate situation that's so sort of like. We think it's uncommon, but I think it's more common yeah. nowadays. Like you know, yeah. I, th I, I think the the sooner they sort of like TikTok come together and get rid of people like him, that sort of like I don't know, you know, just rants and raves and sort of like his narcissism just sort of like pours through the you, you know the veins and his yeah. blood. Christ, right. I mean, it's it's such a shame, Archie, because only going back three or four days ago, when she was live with Sophie Rose and Brett, and she was she looked very happy. You know, she was happy with herself. She was she was playing the clap clap song. She was telling. She said she would never get back with him in a million years, um, and all this stuff. And people, and she was generally getting quite a lot of support. People were like proud of her. And actually was loving it, and and she would have got so much support on this app without him. Um, but now she's just she's done a U turn, and I, and I and I just feel for her that she's just it's just going to get worse. It's going to get worse for her. I say, as you say, she's done a U turn. I think she's put herself in a cul de sac. There's no way out for her. Yeah. No, no way out for her. I think it's the simple the simple sort of truth of the matter is that this. Uh, Diadro, Daniel Sloan, or whatever he calls himself, Remy Curtis, and uh, Sophie Rose, is it? Yeah, I think, I think I think they got a little Bermuda Triangle going on. The only people know what's going on in that triangle is those three people, and I think they're presenting the story sort of like purely and simply for sort of like for financial gain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, feel, I, feel, I think there's, there's big manipulation going on here. And I, so I just want to touch it because people have asked me this question in the past, but just confirm that Remy um, lives with her mother. Um, and it's you like, I think you said it's not her house, it's, it's her mum's house. Yeah, she, uh, she lived in her mum's house. Yeah. yeah. So her mum her owns the house. Her mum do not live there. She lives with her partner or a boyfriend uh, out at, uh, somewhere up like Gatwick. <laughs> Remy's just on, she's in there just to pay the mortgage. Mm. And that, that's, all, that's all. She doesn't own that house. You know, she, her car's leased. She's just, you know, she's just sort of like walking around what she's got. And I think, it, you know, she's just living off, off the back of what she's gaining from TikTok at the minute, like, you know. Yeah, because I was going to ask that. So pretty much her only income from what you know of is like TikTok or, but, but then we, I suppose we don't know what other things she's doing on the side to, to make money, obviously. But yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she gets any sort of like payment from, uh, you know, a, a little lad's father, like, you know, to sort of like help her towards and that. Yeah. But where, she, where she lives in Surrey, the house ain't, che- it's not cheap, you know, it's just sort of like she must be paying two grand a month mortgage, like, you know. But yeah. her mother her mother will be smiling on her way to the bank because she ain't got to pay it, like, you know. All she wants to do is draw money off of Remy. Her, yes. mother's, her mother's worn the same shoes that Remy wears now, like, you know, she's always been out for financial gain. Yeah. Uh, so I think purely simple, it's, it's, it's a triangle of sort of like love, babies or whatever, conception and mis- misconception between these three idiots. Yeah, I, I, that's generally what I've, I've been thinking all along. But um, does um, Remy's mum, has Remy's mum got a partner? That, or is yeah. She- yeah, she uh, yeah she's got a partner, a fella called Mike. I've never met him, like you know. Yeah. Remy sort of like always spoken of him, uh, him as a stepfather, like you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think even after the first date, he was a, uh, with her mother. He's a, he was a, his stepfather. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, she's got a partner. She's perfectly happy. She goes on holiday and holiday and holiday and holiday, about five or six times a year. Lives a very nice life. You know, no worries about anything financially. A mortgage is getting paid, like you know. I say they're they're both cut from the same cloth, like money grabbers. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's unbelievable. It's it's literally it's mind boggling. That it is, you know, that's why I wanted you to come on here tonight. Because obviously, I've had a chat on the, on the phone, but it's nice for people to hear your your side of it. You know, there's nothing concrete, guys. We can't say one hundred percent that she's lying we can't say she's telling the truth but Archie this is his opinion he, he knows his own daughter and, and Archie I just want to touch on you you did say that probably one of the reasons she's not contacted you because you're ve- you, you're very good at telling that she's lying yeah most certainly if, if she was to call me that I've said to her when I've spoke a uh, lot spoke to her there but sort of like magic her on there you know, come and talk to me on here. Let, let's tell people the truth and the fancy and that sort of stuff. You said that your dad's dead and all that sort of stuff. And then she says sort of like some people aren't meant to be a dad. But that's not me. I am her father. I love her and she loves me somewhere in the world. Like, you know, the person doesn't deserve to be a dad. It is bleeding Diadro fella, like, you know. Can I just ask, I don't know if you've touched on it before, but I just want to recap for people. When did it come about and why did it come about that you just stopped talking to each other or or, or or it's sort of like you know the relationship sort of broke down oh i, I text her a few times to say like, i've seen sort of like how he behaves on his sort of like on his site uh towards her like you know where he's been you know venomous sort of like um embarrassing rude to her yeah you know yeah. and sort of like really nasty in every every type of way and i just think christ almighty if, if she's sort of like with a man like that that wants to sort of like downgrade her in front of so many people. What sort of man is he? Yeah. So anyway, I've, I've, I've gave my opinion on the guy. I said he's a narcissist. I think, you know, you'll have no life with him. He'll be controlled, you know. Said, oh, what do you mean, Dad? I said, I mean exactly what I'm saying. He's not a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. And so, then after, after that, Ross, she just sort of like, we had a few more texts. So I kept continuing saying what I'm saying. He's no good. You don't go with him, that sort of stuff. And then it just finished. She just cut me off. Okay. So what you're saying is you 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 was still communicating. You still you did have a relationship with your with your daughter, but it's when he came around came about that it sort of all broke down. Yes, Rossi, most certainly. But it's yeah. not the first. It's not the first time in any means. Like you know, she's been out with some wrongs before. Like you know, and each time she's been defensive of them. Like you know, I I say my bit because I'm her dad. She's always she'll always be my child, no matter how old she is. Like you know. Yeah. And I've I've said my opinion. So anyway, she cuts me off again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Once a fella goes out the door, whatever. Like you know, then I'm back. You know, I'm back in her heart again. Like you know. Yeah. I and mean, when she's. When she split up with her with her partner Ricky, of course she had so many boyfriends. I thought about going t- taking the front door off, and putting a revolving door in. <laughs> Sorry, Archie. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't know what to say, mate. I really don't because it is it is it's 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 one of them, isn't it? It's just mind boggling, and and I feel for you because you know. From what I get, from my, the vibe I get, I spoke to you a couple of times now. You seem like a really nice bloke, you know, uh, just genuine, you know, 
and you've got, you've got a door that's shutting you down and shutting you off, and cutting you out just because you you're you're trying to protect her in a way and, and and telling her you know that these people are wrong for her and not right for her and she can do a lot better. Oh yeah, mate. Oh, without a doubt. But uh, I mean, that's that's life, isn't it? Really, I have to live with the fact that she like that she sort of there's more respect and love for people sort of like are nasty to her than to her father that's sort of like kind and all that sort. Of. I mean, I know I said stuff tonight that was perhaps should have been between me and her, like you know. But I think after all the all the crap things she said about me, it's sort of like you know it, it takes a bit out of you and takes a bit out of you, and, and all of a sudden you break. And I think yeah. I, you know I broke a couple of days ago, like you know. Yeah, I can imagine because it must be it must be so difficult. I mean, obviously, I'm a father myself, and I'm just trying to put myself in your shoes now. Well, if you raise that child, you, you know, you, you you do what you can for them, and then to be shut out, and basically, she's picked someone like that over her own father, and potentially over her own son, because you know we've we've heard that you know she shouldn't be around him, so. It's, it's it's not nice. No, he shouldn't be around. That's why there's, there's no future that relationship. If he can ever be around a, a boy, how are they going to be together? She's always going to be with her boy. So there's you know, it's never it's never going to happen. It's another fantasy thing. It's all part of the of the triangle of bleeding. These three buggers trying to sort of like grab as much money as they can from putting the worst case scenario. Oh gosh, I'm finally pregnant. There's my little baby on the screen. All of a sudden, sort of like you know, she's slated him off. You know, so sort of like he's a narcissist and all that crap and all that sort of stuff. Then she loses the baby, and Sophie Rose appears on the screen, showing her little baby a few minutes afterwards or whatever. Like you know, Christ Almighty, this is better than going to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to TikTok, Archie. Um, Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, you know, on a serious note, though, it's, it, I, I, if if this is if this generally always one big game, and and people are lying about these sort of things, then it's not it's not nice to the people that have gone through these things, and it's disgusting, and it is disgusting to the people that have been supporting her, and have been sending all this money and gifts because you know it's it's manipulation, it is it's outright manipulation. I think it's absolutely despicable. Yeah, you could sort of like you could you could faint something, and people have actually gone through the the through the, you know the pregnancy and losing a child very early in pregnancy, and women that continue to have sort of miscarriage and that sort of stuff, they strive. Their life is always looking forward to giving birth to that wonderful baby, like you know, yeah. and then and then to make out, you know, in this fancy world of the three, yeah. when she is pregnant, you know. He's over the moon. Sophie Rose is all sad and all that sort of stuff. It just, I don't know. It's, yeah. It, I find it strange as well, the fact that she actually, she, she, she's done a Claire's Law on Mr. Sloan and she said herself on live that, you know, it was bad. It was bad. And for her to say it was bad, so she generally knows what's on that document and what his convictions are and what he's done, yet she's still... Not not just putting herself in that situation, but putting her child in that dangerous situation. And it's just, I, I, I honestly can't get my head around it, how someone can come out and say all this stuff, literally, that you know, days ago, and then it's like nothing's happened, and she's in love with him. I, 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 it's, I, I, I'd probably find it hard, but there is people out there that are probably in the same situation with narcissists and manipulators, and they're obviously very good at being narcissists and manipulators because that's what they do to women. They love bomb them and they trap them back in and they make them, they shut everyone else off around them and make them feel that they've got to be with that person because they've got no one else. So it's, it's just, yeah. Man. The thing is, the thing is, uh, Rossi, with narcissists, they're very good at what they do, but there's no good in what they do. Yeah. There's, there's, there's not a kind of heart in a narcissist like you know they're they sort of like you know they sort of like build a woman up and they bring her down they yeah. do something wrong and they and they make the woman it's the woman's fault never the man's fault like you know it's just a belittling it's a belittling situation to be in some women have to live it throughout their lives years ago it was the norm you just stayed you made your bed and you laid in it now nowadays we've got so much more freedom and i say to all those people that are in that narcissist relationship tell your brother tell your father tell your cousin get the family around 
throw the blogger out the house. Yeah. I've turned back the comments on Archie. It's just in case anyone you know wants to ask any questions. But some people are saying, "Oh, you can put the comments back on, guys." Um, I, I just wanted them off for the for the majority of it, so that we could actually not get distracted and have a conversation. Because I, I wanted it to be free flowing, like it was on the phone with Archie. Because it, you know it's nice to just chat without the distraction. But um, you're willing, to, you're welcome to ask some questions, guys. Archie, did is it okay? Is it okay if I, I let a couple of people in the boxes? I'm not going to bombard you, but if a couple of people want to ask some questions. Yeah, Rossi, I'm, I'm fine with that, mate. No, I'm not, I, 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 guys, I don't want it how it was before. I don't want people chatting over and, um, you know, talking over each other. You know, take it one at a time, mute your microphones, ask your question, let, let Archie respond to your question. Um, so, yeah. Um, Mods, you can let people in if you if you want, um, or if you want me to do it, I'll do it. Um, but... Let's perhaps just get one person in at a time. If you request a box, guys, you're welcome to come in and request a box, and I'll let, let one person up at a time that wants to speak to Archie and then let an, another person up. Um, so, yeah, you, you can request, guys. You right, Stacey? Hello. You all right? Hi. Um, I um, I've lost a few babies myself, but um, the thing that got to me was the thing that actually made me doubt her is that I saw a video that she posted today, "Mime into Daddy's Home." Yeah, and I just thought it was very poor taste and like that is that is poor as taste. somebody that's been through that, it just really triggered me personally yeah that's when i didn't i didn't look at it like that honestly Stacey. But when you look at it like that obviously yeah it, that is you, that's just not been fault for at all is it and and that makes me believe like you're saying yeah yeah i think it's a heartbreak and i do think it's very much a trauma bond hmm. yeah. yeah i think it's i think it's a heartbreak that sort of like she you know she says this and there's sort of like people like yourself that have suffered miscarriage and you know, so want a child and that, and then sort of like to make a, a remark like that. I can fully understand where you're coming from with this, like, and I'm, my heart goes out to you. I'm very fortunate. I've got three beautiful boys, but I've also lost three as well. So, you yeah. know, I have been there and a lot of women have, and there's a lot of women that aren't as fortunate as me that have had children, but all they've suffered is loss and this playing out on such a public platform is just in such poor taste in my opinion yeah, yeah stacy one thing i didn't get like you know they kept saying you know be respectful don't don't talk about it. oh sorry that's what they kept saying be respectful don't talk about it you know in, in in his statement he put up but why bring it to the the platform in the first place and their excuse is that oh but people are going to ask questions but i'm sorry but people ask me questions all the time on my lives in my comments but I don't have to tell them. I can just say I'm not answering that. It's personal. So they didn't have to make it public on a public platform. They could have kept it to themselves. You know, it's not anyone else's business, but they brought it to the platform for one reason and one reason only, for clout, for money, for sympathy, for gifts. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, like they say, don't comment on it. Why you, do you have an opinion? But if you are actually, you know, putting your life so publicly out there, of course, people are going to have an opinion whether you like it or not. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And if it is actually, you know, affecting you so badly mentally or what in whatever way, and you're not happy with it, put yourself on private. Don't air your dirty laundry on here. I don't understand it. I, yeah. I just, I don't get it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'll just uh, right. yeah Archie's Archie's on it guys it's his it's his opinion it's his daughter it's his opinion he's not saying he cannot cannot confirm 100% that she was or wasn't pregnant we're not saying that this, Archie's come on here tonight to have his say and just 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 give us a, an insight on on the background of of his daughter and you know past relationships he's been on been in and, and stuff like that and just his opinion uh, his opinion yeah um, Rossi look Rossi's just been trapped but when yeah uh, when uh, Remy was pregnant with her, with her little lad, like, you know, 
it was like watching a flower open up in the, on a spring morning, the sun coming across the flower and the petals open up and it was just a pure, a pure sort of like picture of beauty and sort of like, but, but when I, when she said about this little child on there, there was none of that, none no. of that whatsoever. No, there was no, there was, there was no feeling that I'd see in my daughter that I saw the very first time she was pregnant and the girl that I saw in that video. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it was all so very... Unfortunately, sorry. No, you're right, Stacey. She's made herself look very foolish because when Sophie did the live, obviously, outing him, um, Remy was fuming and she was really, like, unhappy. Well, it was public. We all saw what happened. But then five days ago, she's done exactly the same thing in, in a live with Sophie doing it again. So... It, she's not made herself look good at all. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Well, I'm going to drop down now anyway. Yeah, Thank no you worries, for having Stacey, me up. Thank you for coming up. All right. Good night, Stacey. If anyone else, wants to, if anyone else wants to come up, request the box, guys. With I'm going to do another ten minutes or so of a, a few questions, and I'll let Archie at, um, have have his, have his evening. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my carer has been waiting ten minutes outside the door. Oh, is she? Oh, sorry, Archie. Archie, if no, you need I'm, to go, I'm up now. I'm only kidding you. Oh. <laughs> are you are you ever be on then? Is, you, is that a joke or? No, yeah, I haven't got. I'm I'm, I'm not. I am seventy, but I haven't got a carer yet. <laughs> Request the box, guys. If you want to come up and ask a few questions, you're more than welcome. Because um, I'll, I'll probably be doing. I'll do this for another 10, 15 minutes max. Um, so now's your chance if you want to request the box. Boxes are open to request. What age is Remy? Someone's 20, asking. 29. Some people were referring to, I just want to base on this, some people were referring to Archie that um, you call her Remy Curtis, but you've always called her Remy Curtis. That You, you spoke to me on the phone about that. Yeah, I've always called her Remy Curtis. When she was, when she was born, we called her Remy Curtis. She, yeah. she used to have this little uh, thing that you... You hit you onto a door frame, you could, uh, the baby could bounce about on it, and I used to sing to Remy Curtis, you're a lovely girl, Dad. Remy Curtis, you're a lovely girl. And I used yeah. to sing that to her every time she was in it, like, you know. So I've always called her Remy Curtis, like, you know. Yeah. So I know it might sound strange to people say, why do you keep calling her Remy Curtis? Why don't you just call her Remy? Why don't you just call her my daughter? You know, that's what she is, whether she's Remy or Remy Curtis to me. Yeah. That sounds right. Angel, uh, welcome up. Hiya. What I don't understand is she said she lost a baby a few months ago. So if that were the case and she got pregnant again, they normally put like a stitch in so it holds, holds it in uh, if you're prone to having miscarriages. that That's the bit that I don't understand. Yeah, I'm, obviously I'm not, I'm not up on that sort of thing because I don't know the... The, the ins and outs of that but yeah I, yeah because i can't remember how long ago it was now it wasn't that long ago was it no it won't and this they also advise you to try and not get pregnant straight away after you've had a miscarriage anyway yeah and the bit For I, so I long and the bit For I, so I long the bit i didn't like is the way that they was talking online when Di, uh, diadro was saying he was jumping on a plane every time she was ov ovulating and you know it's almost as yeah it was just I think it's if I she think was like a breeding dog, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Christ, it was, it was almost on the borders of obscenity, like, you know. Christ, I, I understand what the lady's saying about the miscarriage and girls with miscarriage, and they used to do this thing, they probably still do, like, if a lady miscarries, they put a stitch in to help her to sort of, like, keep the baby until sort of, like, for an actual sort of, like, pregnancy. Yeah. yeah. So that's what that lady was talking about. I think if they were going to put a stitch in Remy Curtis, they should stitch it in her mouth and shut her up. <laughs> <laughs> I only know because it happened years ago to my friend. It's a few years ago, and she miscarried. And then when she got pregnant again, they did put a stitch, something inside to try and make her so she didn't have a miscarriage. But this, I'm talking this for a few years ago, so I don't know if things have changed. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't know that sort of thing. But st stitch her legs shut more, like someone's put. 
Yeah. I mean, when I talk like Remy, we actually talk like we put her on the pill, you know, when she was a teenager. Uh, the first pill, the first pill didn't work. Like you know, she kept taking it; it didn't work. It wasn't suitable for her. Like you know, so we, I went to the, I went to see the doctor again, and he gave me a golf ball. And he said, if you can put this between her knees, he said she should never get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Archie. But I think it's awful what the, what she's done to Sophie Rose. I really do, because she's got blame for everything. Never mind what he's put, put her through. Do you know what I mean? All the stress he's gave her. And yeah. all the stress and everything what he gave Sophie Rose while she was pregnant with, with his baby. And yeah. after. I just don't think it's nice. No, definitely not. <laughs> Rossi? Yes. Is it true that Sophie Rose has actually got a direct line to Weight Watchers? I don't know that. <laughs> Archie's gone feral. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. It's just it's just my my humour. That's all. She's 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 a very nice girl. <laughs> Archie's uh, Archie's old school guys, so. Yeah, I must apologise for my humour, like, and you know, we used to have it in abundance years ago, like, you know, when we had communities and sort of, like, you looked, up, looked after each other, like, you know, and, uh, but we seem to have lost that along the way, and I think if we can reinstate that back in the country in our small communities, maybe the country will start to build again. I mean, let's have Rossi as Prime Minister. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> bloody hell. Um, but from Remy meeting Diadro as well, Remy has lost so much weight. Yeah, yeah, but there's, there's, never, there's, there's never much of her anyway. She fluctuates between eight stone and nine stone, like, you know. And so the only time you'll ever tell she, is she lost weight is in her face, really. So her body really remains the same. She, when she puts on a few pounds, it normally goes to her cheeks, like, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I just noticed it, all her arms are so thin and she does look like she's lost a lot of weight. I just want to address a few comments. Sorry, guys. Address a few comments. Someone just put Rossi. You should be ashamed holding a live like this. Absolutely disgusting. Um, I've got a public platform, an open platform. Uh, this is Remy's dad. He's entitled to come on here and talk about his own daughter. I've not said anything um, untoward or you know disgusting. I've just generally asked Archie questions about his own daughter. Your body shaming, Sophie Rose. There's nothing up with Sophie Rose. So I think you saying that's a joke. But you're actually body shaming. Right? Can we can we can we, can we can move off this subject now? Can, can, if you, if you just come up to and if your daughter's your daughter saying she had a miscarriage, mm, I beg to differ. She was pregnant, but she had no miscarriage. That's all I've got to say. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Anyone else? Anyone else want to come up, guys? Yeah, Archie's Archie's apologize. Right. Can I just in the comments you keep saying about so Rose, Archie's just apologised for the comment he, comment he made. Let's move off that subject now. He's apologised for that comment he made. He, he shouldn't have made it. He's, he's apologised for that. Uh, we're not going to keep going on about. He's, we've been talking about Remy the whole time. That was one comment that was made. You are, Archie. 
Oh yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, I'm sorry about if I've upset people. Like, like you know, perhaps I shouldn't have said it, but just my mm-hmm. humour. I apologise for that. Yeah. But just you know, just as if. I mean, we've had a serious chat, and I've said things that I wouldn't have told most people. Like, and I've told the world tonight. Like, you know, because I trust in what you do. I trust you. Sort of, you've got a welfare at heart, and you're trying to get away from him. Like, you know, so many other people are. The only person not listening to what you're saying is her. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's someone requesting. Let's see. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hi. Um, I get the subject that you're on. That's that's fine. But Archie, you know, you say you don't have much of a relationship with your daughter. Yes. Yeah. Do you not think you were a bit of an apology for for like everything you've just said? Uh, no, not at all, really. I think I've got, she owes me apologies all the times that she dropped me when she's put her sort of like a a new the new love of her life in her life. Family would be there forever. Boyfriends come and go. You choose your partner. They might not be with you forever and ever. I get that, but then you're like degrading her on a public platform, and that's you're her dad. No, apparently I'm not her dad. I'm dead. Well, that behind the bar, you're a dad and you're degrading your own daughter. No, I'm not a dad. I'm dead. And she said to uh, one of her posts, some people aren't, mate, aren't meant to be dads. Well, I'm not meant to be a dad tonight because I'm telling people as it is, you know, in, in true life. If, it, if it's degrading to her, it's the life that she's led and the things that she's done. So degrading, degrade herself, not me. Yeah, but you're making her out as if she's... You just you going on about uh, private parts and making jokes about it, and then and then you bring in Sophie Rose in it, and it's like, why? What are you gaining from it? Can I just like, like what are you gaining from this? Uh, tonight, some sort of reclamation, some sort of I don't know, satisfaction, no gain, no gain at all. Perhaps balancing the scales on some of the things that she sort of like said or voiced about her father, her dead father. Some men aren't meant to be dads. The only man's not meant to be a dad is the adro fella, like, you know. So if I've belittled her and that sort of stuff that you think or degraded her, it's because she's she done it to herself so many times on here. I just think you've just lost any chance that you could have possibly ever had of regaining any sort of relationship with your daughter just by the way you've just acted. And yeah, that's sad. Heard... It's really sad, to be honest. As I... a dad, you should know better. And, and, you know, in terms of role models and stuff, like you could have done a lot better this evening. And what you've done is it's, it's not nice. It's, it's, it's gross. Oh, I'm glad you appreciated it. I wouldn't say I appreciate it. In fact, it's like if my dad had been like that, I, 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 yeah, I think he'd be dead to me too. Oh, OK. Well, I appreciate your comments. We've all got a view to have, like, you know, but... Uh... So, yeah, everyone's got an opinion, so have I, and you've heard mine tonight, and you're perfectly entitled to yours. Uh, uh, um, Archie's entitled to have his say. Archie's entitled to say what he wants about his own daughter. Yeah, but I don't think Archie's entitled to comment on any woman's body, like, at all. He's actually coming across as an addict, um, to be honest. He can't control his mouth. And to body shame a woman online is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, we've already seen this. Watch... Yeah, no, I know. I've Hang been listening. I've been listening, but I, um, I don't feel like we're not going to your gonna have, pla- right, your we're not platform. We're not going to have people keep coming up, going over the same thing. Archie's apologised for that comment. We're going to move on from that comment. It doesn't. It doesn't matter about an apology, though. Your platform. There's plenty of women that's. A- there's no point keep going on about it. what what can someone do if someone says something wrong let the you know millions of people say the wrong things on this app and and, and make a joke that they don't mean we're not going to keep going over the same ground archie's apologized what what more can he do for apologizing um you allowed it how can right people saying i allowed it can i can i foresee the future and see what archie was going to say You know what I mean? When people are in the boxes, my platform is, pe- you know, people can have their saying, say, you laughed. Yeah. Oh, I did up. Anyway, Daz, did you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there, were, there are a couple of things I've, I wanted to just address. There's a lot of people in the in the chat saying, is there even any proof that Archie's Remy's dad? Well, I've been in Remy's live when Remy's referred to Archie as her dad. So I think that's proof positive as far as I'm concerned. And maybe... Mm-hmm. Go and confirm it with Remy if you've got any questions about that one. Uh, secondly, is people saying, leave Sophie Rose out of it. 
she's got nothing to do with it. Well, I'm sorry, Sophie Rose has got a lot to do with it because she involved herself in the situation by siding with Remy and being Remy's bestest buddy for however long it was. Plus, let's not forget the whole Jojo and Winchester thing, eh? All right, so before everyone jumps on what an angel Sophie Rose is, let's think that she's not whiter than white and she's got a lot to answer for herself. And she has involved herself in this situation in a very big way. So much as some of you may support Sophie Rose, she's not an innocent party in this. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.